Question number four. It's all about alienation. The question reads, as a creative manager of a small group of employees in the advertising department, you notice one of your designers has withdrawn from the meetings, offering no input. Employees, This employee's alienation concerns you. What should you do to socialize this employee and engage them into their job? Um, well, there's no clear cut answer on this one. I see that, especially something like this, it's going to have to be tailored to the individual and the situation. S alienation is known by many names, um, and there's many different reasons for it. I can tell you when I used to work at a uh, distribution center, it was at the Menards Distribution Center, it's kind of like Home Depot. Um, all I did all day, every day, sit on a forklift, pick up boxes, put them on the truck. It was so repetitive and exhausting, just nauseating after a while. Just dreaded every instance, every second in, in that establishment. Um, and one of my other big problems was that there was no communication whatsoever, you know? 10 hour shift, I got a lunch and two breaks. So 50 minutes to an hour ish to converse with people. And then it was on a forklift by myself out in the middle of nowhere. And I just got burnt out. Um, this here being a creative, um, like a advertising department in a creative career. Um, this would lead me to believe that this person is, I think he's being underutilized, you know, when you see a creative department and somebody who just loses care in their job and it is specifically work related, I should say that because, uh, you know, depression, marital issues, stuff like that can lead to an alienation from work along with everything else in their life. Um, if it is a work-related alienation, the I yeah I would typically see something like this being a underutilization, putting him in menial, um, repetitive roles when he he knows he's capable of so much more. Um, being the manager, I see only one avenue to help with his reintegration, his resocialization of you know his within his company, um, and that is to give him responsibility. Uh, in the military, they teach you, you learn the job of the guy above you, teach your job to the guy below you. You always, you know, you don't measure your success by how far you get, but by how far your subordinates get. As a manager of a advertising department, if you try to micromanage everything and you don't allow your employees to blossom, succeed on their own, they are all going to become eventually alienated. And I think the first step is, you know, start looking to this guy for uh, task completion. Not so much a whole, say, an entire advertising campaign, but, you know, hey, we're we going to add for this company give me a concept or, you know, what, uh, a concept for the ad or a, um, you know, why don't you go ahead and develop the initial slides or something like that, you know, where he can start expanding upon his uh, potential and his knowledge base. And once he's mastered that, then you give him a little bit more and then a little bit more. Hopefully we'll be able to promote him on, you know, give, you know, allow him to be the person he wants to be. There's not a single person in the world that should, should be happy with the position and job they're in. They should always want to better themselves. And when they feel that they have the ability to better themselves and they're not given those chances, they emotionally cut ties with the company and start looking elsewhere. And, you know, let's see. When I, was, you know, when I was in the army, the same thing. Privates, specialists, they, you know, especially the specialists, been in for a few years, and they see their peers getting promoted around them, and it really gets disheartening. And so when I was an NCO, 
I love being able to, you know, say, hey, you're going to, you know, take these guys, execute this task. And, you know, it was, it was nice being able to give them that, that leadership experience because, yeah, like I said, you wanted your subordinates to get as good or better than you, you know. And that's how, that's the true measure of, of a good leader. And, yep, that's, that's, that's what I would do, though. Now that I've rambled on enough, is give this individual, you know, responsibilities and uh, freedom, autonomous, or uh, uh, anonymity, um, no, correction. Um, either way, I would definitely allow this person to act independently, achieving a simple task, not in any way micromanaged. You let this person stand or fall on their own, but this will give them that driving force that they need to get back into the um, into the spirit of the company to get them reengaged. So, thank you. Um, sorry if these were way too long. I didn't know if you wanted them six minutes a piece or six minutes for the entire thing. So, if if it's too long, next time I'll cut it down. Thank you very much. Good evening.